Hello everybody, this is Arathos and welcome back to RimWorld 40k. So in this episode we are going to dive right into the action and try to break this siege. And to that end I have gathered all of my snipers who are going to come out here and provide a bit of sniper work uh, to maybe try to trigger these guys into assaulting the base at which point my turrets will hopefully handle it. Let's see. Let's go, guys. Okay, Rathus and Ryder are at our, in, our heavy emplacements. We are going to bring... Oh, look at these guys. We're going to have to intercept those fuckers. Yeah, you guys already noticed me, don't you? Okay, everybody get into position. Let's try to murder these guys as they come through here. I'm honestly not sure why they are coming through there, but hey, our, so our snipers at the moment, oh, thank God, you took out the dude with the doomsday rocket launcher. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, I definitely have an idea now. Okay, um, so yeah, all my guys down here have exit, has an exodus sniper rifle, and then we have four, uh, EMRG ones. So what I think I'm going to do here in a second is because the game was so kind enough to have these guys drop a lovely, lovely um, doomsday rocket launcher, I am going to use it on them. So I'm going to move you forward. And how about we bring you within range? Yeah, little by little. I know, you're not there yet. Shoot this dude, will you? What, you can't? Fire at Trev. Use that Doomsday rocket launcher to devastating effect, please. <laughs> Everybody, run. Nadezda, what the fuck are you doing? Run. Maybe have these guys cover Nadezda a little bit. Okay. You guys keep retreating, because the melee dudes are going to hit you hard. If you don't, that dude's going to go around, thank God. Our turrets, come on. Come on. Get undercover, quickly, quickly, quickly. There you go. Okay, undraft. They are running like hell. <laughs> that was awesome. Holy shit, that was awesome. Okay, clear prioritized work. We have some loot to pick up. I don't want the wake up. Let's un forbid these bodies. Holy shit, that was awesome. <laughs> We broke that assault down. Holy crap. <laughs> and honestly, I think the I think the linchpin of our success there was uh, when we killed the dudes coming through this pass, when one of them decided to drop a... Not decided to, I'm sure he didn't want to, but... Yeah, when that dude... Um... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, when that dude dropped the Doomsday rocket launcher, <laughs> that was probably... Okay, what is... For... Ah, there we go. Yeah, that was probably the single biggest factor in our victory there, was being able to break that doom that attack with the Doomsday rocket launcher when we, when it just blew the shit out of this entire group. Oh, that was fucking amazing. Alright, let's look at these guys. Is there anybody we want to capture? Uh, needs. Okay, character. Are you worth... I mean, you're not capable of intellectual or any of that shit, but... You are capable of other stuff, so I think I am going to send... Uh, the dude to ca I'm going to send somebody to capture you. Now let's look at Savannah. Are you... Oh, shit. 
Look at all this shit. And more doomsday rocket launchers? I think I'm gonna start keeping those bastards in stock because... Holy shit. Intellectual, caring, social, cooking, but I can use you for crafting. So, uh, Shog. Come capture Savannah. Okay, what about you? How's your health? Eh, you're fine. You guys are probably gonna burn to death. Not much I can do about that. Sorry. Oh, it's raining. So there probably is stuff I can do about it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's retrieve all these weapons. Because I can sell the majority of them. <laughs> that was awesome. Holy crap, I can't believe how well that worked out for us. Yeah, let's try to pick up everything. The rain should be putting most of this out. Not sure why it's not. Character. Caring and social. Okay. Trophim, can you come get... Oh, we don't have shit for you. Okay. Um, let's make another prisoner bed then. Prisoner medical. Trophim. Let's have you come get Luna if you can. And Romeo is about to die. He's gonna die in three hours if we don't get him. He's actually not bad, so we should probably capture him too. Capture Romeo, and then we can indoctrinate them into the ways of the Imperium. Come on. He's probably gonna die though, let's be honest. Most of these guys that we're gonna capture, they're probably gonna die before we get them back to base. Uh, especially these two. There's just too much blood loss, I think. Four hours. 2.1. Yeah, Huhar is taking her sweet time. This dude's gonna die. Yep, come on. I think he's already dead, lady, but... Yep, he's already dead. Critical alert, severe illness. Who's got a severe... Oh, you guys. Okay. So here's the deal with the prisoners. We are going to chat and recruit, and you get the best medical care I can provide. Uh, chat and recruit, best medical care. You're already taking care of her. And when we get this new dude... Like we had somebody else being brought in by prisoners, right? Trophim, you got him. Okay, how much... 0.88 hours. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Uh, best possible care, this. Trophim. Prioritize treating. Now, come on, quickly. Get the medicine. You might save her. Whatever, I'll research that in a moment. Save her. You might, you might, you might. She died. Fuck. Okay, fine. Alright, well, we still have these two that should be doing just fine, I think. Your spine was shattered, so I need to fix your spine, and you have to replace your leg and your stomach. Holy crap, I did not realize you guys were hurt that badly. Alright, let's look back over here and see what else we have to loot. Yeah, I'll take the shiv. It's made out of titanium, so it'll at least be worth something. Uh, adamantium. Yep, no, we have plenty of weapons just laying on the ground out here. Uh, you know what would be nice, though? If some of you bastards came and got some of the more valuable ones. Because, goddamn, we do have some gear out here that really should end up in our base. Like, a lot of this stuff I'm not too worried about, but there are a few items over here that it's like, eh, would you guys please pick it up? Because they are going to deteriorate. And I don't want them to deteriorate. Those rocket launchers were awesome for breaking the siege. Holy shit. <laughs> that was so much fun, though. <laughs> yeah, I love the combat in this game. Um, especially those sieges. Holy crap. Okay, we've got a lot of bodies piling up in here. Now, I wonder if I set my adult animals loose, like unrestricted, if they will go get me all that loot that's out there. Like, I don't want the puppies re uh, released, just all the ones that are trained fully in hauling. And that probably includes this mega sloth, honestly. 
Let's see how they do. I'm going to keep an eye and see if any of those animals decide to go haul the big stuff for me. So far, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it at all. Starvation, because Mole is, oh, I had a mental break and I'm gonna hide in my room like a little bitch. Joy, joy deprived, that no, you were not. Innocent prisoner, whatever. You guys were not that, uh, I don't like that dude. Most of his shit is because of the fucking, is self-inflicted. No, yeah, our dogs are fine. Are venturing out and getting us our stuff. They are doing some hauling. Yeah, let's let them continue to do some hauling. And once I am good with the amount of hauling they have done, um, yeah, yeah. Once all this shit is put collected, I will probably tell the dogs to go back to just chilling in the in the colony. Might as well put the dogs to work. I mean, we have so many of the bastards, right? <laughs> uh, about to break. I hate you so very much, Mole. I, it might be time to see if he needs to leave. Because what the fuck is wrong with him? Eh, whatever. I will deal with him later. I mean, I'm not going to kill him or anything, but Jesus. Extreme break risk, still. God, I hate you so much. You were not very joy-deprived. That was because you hid in the goddamn room, you moron. Eesh. Okay. Weapons are being hauled at a decent rate, I think. Yeah, these doomsday launchers. Wow, look at all these extra bolt guns and plasma guns that are being produced. I did notice, however, first of all, I'm gonna come over here and put the next research. I am going to start researching um, Imperial Guard uh, quad rocket launchers once those are done, uh, instead of the Doomsday launchers, because then I can replace um, all the non-Imperium gear, including the Doomsday launcher, with other stuff. I did not mean to pause that. Okay, dogs, you guys... Yeah, no, they're hauling like crazy because my animals are bringing in all these stupid, um... All these rocks. This is filling up very quickly. Yep. Go on, animals. Alright, Sveg, where are you going? Where are you going, Sveg? Where the fuck you going, Sveg? <laughs> Probably looting. Yeah, picking up bodies. Okay. <laughs> this was a massive raid that we broke down. Good God. Now Kramer's picking up that body. Yep, just picking up all the corpses. Preparing them to be... Um, incinerated, actually. Yeah, cremate corpse. Okay. Minor break risk is Trophim and NG. What is your fucking problem now? Observed corpse and innocent. And my kin Waza died. I don't care. They attacked us with mortars. They attacked the colony you were living in. Fuck them. Alright, feeling terrible. Observed corpse, innocent prisoner. Oh, fucking hell. You annoying ass. Mm. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's see. And I want everybody to have some nice armor shortly. Armor is not, our Imperial Guard armor is not, imp you know, we're not building it as quickly as we're building everything else, it looks like. Unless I'm just not putting it in the right place, like, do we have a stuff, or everybody's putting it on as soon as I build it. That kind of looks like it's the case, actually. Looking at the number of Imperial Guard helmets floating around. Alright. 
You know what I should also do? Um, let's go to our armor. I know we can't do anything with the armor right now. Uh, let's add a bill to make 10 Imperial flak plates to make our armor even better. Add bill, Imperial flak plate, 20 F10, add bill, make Imperial flak plate, do until you have 10. Because that would be very useful. We can further increase our armor. Okay. We are bringing in all this shit. We are hauling nonstop. Yeah, and we can actually go through and improve our weapons. I will say that I want to have a group of at least five colonists. So we have over 20. So what I want is I want a group of five colonists equipped with um, Exodus sniper rifles. So I need to go in here and I want to add a bill to make Exodus sniper do until we have five. Add bill. Oh, you're already making five. Okay. I didn't think I had anybody making Exodus sniper rifles. Okay, I was wrong. So I'll delete that. Uh, once we re get the research to make uh, our quad rocket launcher, I'm probably going to tell my people to make like five of those because I would like a few of those in backup that I can use in case uh, Erlok Gar, our damn storyteller, decides it's time for another siege. I think that would be it would be very useful to have a large uh, group of rocket launchers going. Hmm. Almost all the weapons are picked up. That's good. And the colony's doing its thing. People are going to be pissy for a little bit because the corpses are not getting uh, cremated, which is actually kind of annoying the shit out of me. These corpses need to be picked up. I don't like my people getting all angry that the corpses are just laying out here. So I'm going to wait till morning and I'll probably send a Rathus to um, cremate all these corpses. I mean, I know my dogs are probably going to be eating the corpses, but... They're not eating them quickly enough. Come on. Wake your ass up. It's fucking five in the morning. Come on, Arathus. There you go. I don't want you to consume the corpse, please. Whoa. Yeah, prioritize doing this shit. And our dogs will pick up the gear and just drop them off and we can sell it later. Yeah, burn the bodies. This is your job for a while. Thank you. You know what? I want to see. Isn't there a bill to... Yeah, burn apparel, but meh. And I might actually tell it to burn apparel here in a minute as well. Because the deceased person's clothing is not going to be providing us with a large amount of money. Wow, look at all these animals now. Okay. Nobody's really hauling the rest of this equipment, which is honestly a little frustrating, but it's fine. All right. Aratha's just plugging away at burning all these bodies. And all our dogs are plugging away at, you know, storing the bodies. I imagine the hair is just going to build... Uh, not the hair. What the hell am I talking about? The clothing. Although, with this many German Shepherds, there's probably a lot of hair floating around this damn colony. Okay. Come on. Uh, I think I'm going to restrict the animals. They're not really doing a whole hell of a lot with the hauling. I might unrestrict them later and send them out hunting, though. Let's see. What's the hunting option? Isn't that it right there? Yeah, they didn't really seem to be doing it, did they? Hmm. Okay, whatever. Keep burning these corpses. Because I know our big, uh... Who's the minor break risk? Engie? I don't care about Engie. She will get over whatever the hell's causing her to be a pain in the ass. Alright, come on, burn the bodies. Look at all this fun, fun gear that is building up. Bulk Goods Trader from the Confederation of Galga. Hey, if they will buy apparel, this is a good deal for us. 
apparel and or weapons. You know, I might actually have to request a trader. Buttercup has gotten food poisoning from the human corpse. You know what? I don't mind that you guys are eating the corpse. I really don't, but... Yeah, I do want all the bodies cremated. That is a lot of clothing. Uh, we still have a few bodies that need to be burned. Thank you, Ryder. Thank you for getting on that. Man, we had so many bodies that it took our entire work day. And we didn't even get rid of all of them. That's... Yeah, we killed a lot of people. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, Where are the traders, actually? Jump to location. Ah, oh, you're right here. Who's closest? Uh, Arathas is actually pretty damn close. Come talk to... Come talk to Kangaroo, I guess. Yo, Kangaroo. You wanna buy some shit? Uh, I might have to start selling some animals. Not my dogs. I like my dogs. I'm gonna... I think I probably need to start selling the mufflos. They're not really being of much use to me. And... I'm gonna sell the Mega Sloth. Let's just keep the German Shepherds. Okay, and let's look down through here. We have a lot of Mega Sloth wool that I want to s Holy shit. They could not buy the majority of my stuff. Okay, never mind. Uh, I will keep the Mega Sloths. Jesus. Okay, just take the Muffalos, I guess. I have a fox, but apparently you don't want to buy a fox. Well, yeah, no. Just take the... Let's see what you have to sell me, though. I could use some more steel. I always need steel at this point. I'll take your jade. Apparently the jade was a lot of money. Mm. Let's go with... Uh, oh yeah, let's get rid of a lot of this clothing. I think that's more important than anything right now is to get rid of this clothing. It's taking up a huge chunk of our... of our base. Of our storage. There we go. Anything that is like... Um, deceased person's clothing needs to get the fuck out of our colony. And that, that, let's get rid of that. I know that wasn't deceased person, I'm just getting rid of it. This, this, I see most of these are only worth like pennies. So. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. It's a lot of clothing we're getting rid of. Yeah, holy crap. This is really driving the point home as to how many people we killed. Well, good God. Okay, so the Mega Sloths are not the Mega Sloths, but our um, Muffalos are not ours anymore. They're gone. That clears up a little space, and we got rid of a bunch of clothing. So that's useful. Apparently, these people did not want to buy our Nano Suit. What's going on? NG, what's your problem, NG? Good God. You're tired and an innocent prisoner died. So fucking rest. You are not being given prioritized work. You can go rest whenever the hell you please. Damn, Engie. Let's see. Okay, all those guys are... Yeah, the Federation of Gaga gave me some good trading. So now I just need to wait for the next... Um, what do you call it? Uh, trade ship, and then I can probably sell a lot of these weapons too. Flash storm. A lot of lightning in a small space. That's fine. I don't care. It's gonna be a lot of fire though, because there's no um, there's no rain accompanying this flash storm that, that I can see. Yep, nope. Stop eating the corpse. Good god. I mean you are disposing of the corpse, so I do kinda thank you for that, but Jesus Christ! Stop just eating it. Hunter lacks ranged weapon. Nadezda, that's right. You went and picked up the... Uh, you went and picked up the... Um, what was it called? The uh, Doomsday Rocket Launcher for us. Which is very much appreciated, mind you. Our dogs are just basically eating this corpse. And getting food poisoning. Now you're going to eat the corpse. And get food poisoning. How much of this body's left? Good god. The amount of dogs I have, I'm starting to wonder if I even need to bother with 
like cremation. My dogs are apparently gonna eat everything. Kramer, can you just prioritize just need materials? The fuck would you need materials to? Okay, that's weird. Okay, well the body's gone, so I guess that's why it wasn't working. They cremated the body after. Bulk goods trader from the criminal band. Hell yeah, get down here. Get away from that fire, though. That fire is going to keep spreading. Ooh, your boomalope. Ooh, you just barely avoided disaster there. Good god. Okay, I'm going to probably sell you more clothing and try to get rid of some weapons. Uh, let's look. This is where the raid happened. There's still a lot of weapons laying around, but you know what? I'm going to forbid all these... I don't know. If my people get out to picking it up, that's fine. If they, do, if they don't, that's fine too, though. They can just deteriorate. None of these weapons are really especially desirable for me at this point. Come on down. Okay. Our stockpile is doing just fine. We have a lot of deceased person shit to sell. Um, yeah, and we have a bunch of weapons. So, glad you guys are open to trade. Svegj. Sveg, whatever. Uh, who's the leader here? Trade with Lazy. Sure. <laughs> um, I have a muffalo calf. I thought I sold all my muffaloes. Uh, I'm gonna keep the red fox. I remember rescuing the red fox. I'm gonna keep the red fox. Let's sell. You guys seem to have more money than the last group, so how about you guys buy my mega sloths? Because I'm gonna buy some shit from you too. Hmm. At least I'm thinking about buying some shit from you. I don't know if you have a lot of shit for me to buy. Mm, apparently not. And buy some smoke leaf joints. That's always useful my people something to chill on okay now let's sell some more um, deceased people's clothing nobody will buy the armor that's annoying to me I would very much like to sell the armor and like where is it yeah all these armor vests and shit I would love to sell it uh, yeah thank you for Taking the Mega Sloths. I like the Mega Sloths, but they eat a lot and they don't really provide a whole hell of a lot of. Shield user has ranged weapon. Ya moron. Please drop the ranged we the this thing. Who else? So it's Nadezda and. Okay, it's basically just Nadezda. I really wish they would not, if they have a ranged weapon, they wouldn't just automatically go, ooh, look, a shield. All right, so with the destruction of that siege and getting our colony, you know, back into the production of Imperial grade weapons and armor, I am all out of time for today. So thank you so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that being said, I'll see you next time for some more RimWorld 40k, where we can deal with whatever other bit of fuckery that Erlok Gar throws at us.